Olumide Oladiro is taking the viewers on a journey of a lifetime through his paintings that documents places, people and their golden experiences in his solo exhibition. The Yaba College of Technology is buzzing with a new kind of energy. As friends, family and associates gather to support one of their own, Oladiron Kolawole, a former student of the institution who has grown in leaps and bounds to master bright and lovely colors which he has put together in 50 paintings expressed in this solo exhibition which he introduces to the visitors. I used to look back at my 50 years, all what I've gone through before I attained 50. I talk of 17 years in teaching experience in so many schools. I talk of uh, my 11 years in publishing line. I have a 10 title books called I Can Color and Ultimate Creative Art Books. 11 years in line in teaching that. So that's then my painting, which is, which is part of me that I've started with for, from Credo. So I'm exhibiting here 50 artworks to commemorate 50 years of my existence in life. This artist takes his audience down memory lane, capturing precious moments with his paint and brush. It's not an easy thing to, to showcase 50 works at a time, but it's a consistent and uh, something that I make that effort from just to look back from when from zero age to 50 what have I achieved so I decided to use this painting 50 paintings to bring out all what I've been going through from the one to, uh, to the present age and that's why I'm throwing this uh, exhibition open here Some of them reveal what Nigerians go through daily, seen in other works of art, such as way of life, our identity, life experience, just to mention a few. He takes time to explain some of the others which feature in this show. Life experience actually captures all what we're going through because artists reflect what society is all about. And in that particular painting, life experience showcases all what Nigerians, Africans go through in life, that, and that's why I, I, I titled that particular work Golden uh, Life Experience. My innovation in this exhibition, I brought so many African designs. So in that particular work, African Beauty, I, it took me a lot of time to achieve that work because I took a lot of time working on African motifs in that particular work. Which has made an impression on the guests. Everything is intriguing. Everything you see here, his mental thought, which he puts down, shows the type of uh, mentality he has. He's a fantastic somebody. It's this very, very good work. There are a lot of challenges that can make one to derail from achieving what you want to do. But this, showing this one uh, is to show my resilience in achieving what you want to achieve because life itself is very challenging. There are a lot of experiences, good and bad, in Nigeria. But if you have a focus, you achieve what you want to do. So I want to tell the young ones that life is not easy, but if you focus on what you want to do, you really achieve it in life. 
either you, uh, you want us to challenge yourself, it's very, very important to challenge yourself that what I want to do is what I will do, no matter the challenges that comes your way. Most of those who have watched him grow describe him as a painter with so many words, and he has painted them out as he marks his golden jubilee. Art is life, and life is art, captured in Olumide's pieces. You can enjoy Art House on any of these platforms. And there's so much to take in when you tune in next week. Let's show you a little glimpse of what to expect. We enjoy an exhibition from the nation's capital, Abuja, of Korean and Nigerian artists. For the first time, we're really bringing out um, exhibits of different artists of different category, exhibiting what they have to showcase our culture. When people ask me how much I love you, I tell them there is no currency for it. Then we come to the commercial hub, Lagos, to enjoy a war of words, a poetry performance. Let's talk about life, let's talk about death. Let's talk about peace, let's talk about terrorism. Let's talk about that little girl weeping over the unidentified one's body of what used to be her father. Let's talk about Baga, let's talk about Gaza. Let's talk about, let's talk about all those dreadful dreams that keeps us awake in the middle of the night. Let's talk about those stories we've all chosen to forget. Come, let's talk. That and more when you tune in next week. And that's how the curtain falls on the program. But the conversation continues online as always on any of our platforms. I'm Melinda Kinlami. Have a fabulous 2018.